Hello everyone, Carlos here for keyboard shortcut number 21, which is going to be about all chief zero or all equal. I put the two because they both of them work. I've seen people doing all equal and it works for the placing atosom immediately with your keyboard shortcut. But in my case, it works with all chief zero. Okay, so let me show you. Say that, for example, you wanted to calculate the total here. Sometimes you can actually just do equal and do sum and just do this, right? You get the total, that's fine. But if you want a keyboard shortcut really to do it fast and actually impre Im improve your, actually to impress your colleagues, your boss, just do this, Alt, Shift, Zero. And that automatically puts it. Then Control, Enter, and that's it, okay? Let me do it again one more time. Alt, Shift, Z uh, Zero to do auto sum. Again, it should work with actually do Alt, Equal. But for my keyboard, it doesn't work. I don't know why. Maybe there's some sort of miss uh, or configuration that I have to do extra. But for now, uh, it should work with all shift zero. Okay. Do and do control enter. Now, the cool thing about this keyboard shortcut, and before I proceed, maybe let me just open the quick uh, right here 21. Sorry for that. It's not open. It's going to be open real quick. Is that it is actually very useful for your formula reports because you can actually input. Uh, various formulas at the same time with just this keyboard shortcut and actually you can actually save time So for example, I go right here. Okay, and say for example, I'm just gonna back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing And let me maybe we can uh, well, I don't want to lose that part Maybe we can do this. Sorry for that wait. Okay, and let me just back up. Uh, okay, so we can see it right we can see it right there All right, so what I'm gonna do right now and actually uh, this shouldn't be either but we can include it, no, no problem, we include it. Uh, although that's a little bit of a typo there, but okay. But pretty much, I'm gonna actually input a bunch of formulas here and here, okay? And how do you do it? First, you select your whole selection, okay? And then you do Alt, Shift, Zero, and that's it. If you really wanna impress your boss, your co or your coworkers, that's it. You can even check that it actually put a bunch of sums right there, horizontally and vertically. Kind of cool, right? Because with one keyboard shortcut, you can actually just build it. Let me just back up, Control Z, and do it again. We just select the whole area, okay? Let me just see right here. Just uh, take that, okay? So you select the whole area where it actually is gonna cover the subtitles or the totals, okay? In this case, I'm including an extra column because it has a ground total, and another extra row because it has a ground total, and then Alt Shift Zero and automatically push the totals for columns and for rows. Now, there's an interesting behavior here, okay, with subtotals, okay? What do I mean by that? Say you're building a report that maybe some have, it has some sort of uh, custom format, okay? So say, for example, here you do all zero, okay? Actually, all zero, and you sum that part, which is the subtotal of critical. Control enter, and go to the next one, and maybe you would think that if you apply all chief zero it will adequately sum uh, sum also the forty two thousand it doesn't check it out it just stops right there so it's kind of cool it kind of recognize what's already so, uh, a total okay or a subtotal control enter we could keep going down and do all shift zero and i it will also stop again control zero then do more two more times all shift zero okay do the auto sum for that section one more time Alt Shift Zero, and do I it again? But then, if you do the grand total, this is kind of cool. You will think that maybe if you do Alt Shift Zero, it will add up the whole thing. But again, not. Nah. It actually is kind of smart and actually just grabs the subtotal. So it's a neat, neat keyboard shortcut. I think I wanted to share with you guys because it's kind of neat. Uh, I don't use it often, but when I do, that's how I put my my sums really fast. Control Enter. Now, bonus. Bonus for those ha who are still maybe uh, impressed by this, uh, go right here to the table, okay? If you're working with tables, and I suggest you do because they're so powerful, and if you go to the bottom of it, check it out, for example. Check out the header right here that says uh, A, B, C, D, okay? When you're working with tables, those headers of columns get replaced by the headers of the tables if you keep going down and you don't see your headers anymore. Check it out. For example, look, look, and I'm about to go down a little bit more and click on the table and now see it doesn't show B, D, or B, C, D. It actually shows the header of the table. So kind of cool. 
And then if you go all the way to the bottom and go right here where it says, for example, shipping cost, for example, if you wanted to solve the, the whole total of shipping cost of a table, you do all shift zero and actually push the total row of tables, okay? But then again, you can open it with all arrow down and you can open it and say, maybe I want the average. And kind of cool because with all shift zero, you kind of do sum for normal ranges, uh, sorry, normal ranges, but for Excel tables, you actually invoke the sum for default, by default, but you can actually change it by other type of calculations. So I think it's cool. Maybe you want the minimum number, okay? Maybe you want the, the standard deviation, okay? And then you get it. So it's kind of neat. It's a bonus. And I think it's a cool keyboard shortcut for doing out of sum really, really fast, okay? And hopefully I impressed your boss or colleague. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. See you for the next video, number 22. Thank you.